Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. It is my third day. It is uh, quite pretty out here right now. Finishing up my breakfast. I slept in today. Took my time. Sitting right here. Excuse my mess. All my stuff is all over the place. But sat right here and cooked myself some oatmeal. Just finishing up my citrus drink. And then I'm going to finish packing up. Quite a weird place, this woods. Not really a sound all night. No crickets, no frogs. Just absolute quiet. Amazing. Everything is very wet this morning. You swear it rained last night. All it was was is just condensation. The dew started at about 7. and It's still just absolutely soaking wet. But, uh, quite, a, quite a nice little grassy spot out here. But as I mentioned before, no shade at all. So it would be a, it would be a tough day here if you were going to spend the day. You'd have to set up some sort of shade with my tarp or something. Which I didn't set up last night because the forecast was pretty good. But I'm just going to finish up eating and head that way. More of Insula Lake. Kind of a big thing. A few trees up ahead down here. All the rest of it so far has been completely burned.
this is the channel uh, between on the northeast side of the big island in the middle of Insula. Still all burned here, but in the distance here you'll see you see more and more clumps of trees all the time. Pretty soon I would assume I'll start to get completely out of it. I think it's up just around the corner to the right. It should be about the end of it. There's a place on the map, map marked uh, the rock. I'm not exactly sure what that is in Insula. Heard of it, but I've never actually uh, researched it. And I guess I'll I'll find out when I get there. Well, I must be doing something right. Would you look look at this lake? This just never happens very often. Usually it happens right before a big storm, actually, but. We'll see what happens here. Look at that. The rock is right behind that clump of trees in the middle, I think. Wow. Amazing. Well, I assume that's what they call the rock out here in the middle of Insula, the north end. I'd assume so. I thought it would have been taller or more impressive or something. If it were, uh, you know, to be, get a label on the map. But, it's really neat anyway. All the trees over here. I stopped at a uh, campsite here toward the north end of Insula for a bathroom break. Drank a lot of water this morning. Trying to guzzle the extra water ahead. You believe this weather? This is just amazing. Insula is a big lake. Holy cow, does it take a while to get across. I think that's another campsite right over there, right across the way. It's a really neat cliff way down there. Maybe it doesn't show up. Nice sandy beach to land the canoe on. No wind to fight with. Hmm. Check it out. Oh wow, look at this. Kind of a nice little site in a grove of cedars. My wet boots. All right. This is the portage landing from Kiana, or yeah, to Insula. Way at the north tip of Insula up here. Took quite a while to get here, and the wind has been coming up here toward the end. Fortunately, it's been to my back. Uh, yeah, nice sandy landing and 180 rod portage. Looks like a lot of elevation lines, so we'll see when I get there. Oh, this is Kiana Lake. It's uh, such a beautiful day. Wonderfully warm, or as other people would call hot. Again, never complain about the weather, or the, or the sun, I mean, and the heat, because the alternative is not good either. But, but yeah, that was a, that's a tough portage. It's, it's all up or down, not really any level spots in between kind of see it right here it just kind of either goes all the way up or all the way down but I made it to Kiana so either way I'm going to try to stop somewhere for lunch take a break well the north end of Kiana has some beautiful rock structures Closer there, yeah. Looks like uh, people have stopped there and climbed up it. You can tell by the matted down grass and the scattered pine needles up the hill. Pretty good little overlook, I suppose. Interesting the campsite selection here on Kiana. Stopped there to take a break. I was going to make some food, but maybe I'll move on. Um, kind of back here in this backwater, the other campsite's back behind this island, really in a backwater. I didn't go all the way over to it, so I didn't see it exactly, but 
but this is the site is all it is it's right here just this little any clearing you're looking at the whole thing I mean it's nice in a lot of ways it's got a little sand it's right by the water it's got these two big white pines uh, one nice little spruce tree the young one growing behind it and uh, site gets very little use just uh, really just kind of a bed of pine needles can't really tell when the last time somebody had a fire in there was when the fire grates get really rusty like that you know they're not used much and then there's one kind of large grassy area for tents this is just a lot like the site I was at on Insula that was burned someone's come in and cut this uh, grass it was long obviously and then somebody kind of cut it down all over like they were swinging some kind of tool doing that but uh, that's the whole site kind of a neat little spot really and this campsite also appears to not have a latrine and if it is it's lost in the brush the trail just kind of ends right here walk and kind of go down through this piece of brush here a little bit more No uh, definable path, and it just sort of ends back here. This is the closest thing I could find to a green trail. The only thing I can assume is that when this uh, balsam fir fell down, it wiped out what there what there was of a trail, but. It's just right, right here behind the campsite. It looks like several people have stopped and tried, went back here and tried to find it, but to no avail. Good thing I don't need to use one right now. All right, on to Thomas, I think. Well, this is the Thomas end of the Kiana to Thomas Portage. Well, that thing is. Uh, the longest 25 rod portage I've ever been on. Sometimes they're labeled 25 and they're 5, and sometimes they're labeled 25 and they're 45. I would call that one 50, but I don't know, maybe I'm just tired. But it's very steep at both ends. You know, Thomas is a big lake, and it's all on the other side of those trees right over there. Get there soon. Well, I'm on a campsite in Thomas, kind of more toward the middle of the lake, it's kind of a sort of hammerhead shaped peninsula. That straight over there is that sort of bigger island out in the middle of the lake. It's in a big grove of white pines. I'll give a tour of that later. Got these enormous pine slabs, I suppose they're from tree that blew down at one time but I'm starving it's almost three o'clock and I need to make some food so getting my alcohol stove ready again I use my solo stick stove as a pot stand and I've added a little uh, you know, I think I've shown this before but I've added a little uh, uh, windscreen there made of aluminum and treating myself today I'm going to have a Spam and Cheese Sandwich. Kind of messy, but they cook fast and really is good when you need it. And so, just getting everything kind of ready here. I pre-package everything in a little kit for all my food. And then a package of Spam, cheese stick, and a tortilla. A little 8 inch tortilla that I can fit in my pan. A little bit of uh, ghee. You know, it's clarified butter, makes it frying really nice. And I'll use my uh, little low power alcohol stove for that. Doesn't need a lot of heat. You know, the uh, pre packaging really works pretty well. My food barrel, which is kind of half out here all over the bench, 
but down here in the bottom I have all my individual meals kind of sitting here like here's some pancakes here is chicken fried rice I put everything in here the chicken dehydrated I uh, cut the little thing off the box this is probably just hamburger helper brand or something some rice in there and I just take that out and grab it and they stack in there pretty nice See, doesn't that look good just, uh, Butter that tortilla, get in the pan, get some cheese on one side, spam in the other. Once it's uh, melted and warmed up good, just uh, fold it together and you've got a wonderful sandwich. Another very impressive white pine back here, um, back behind the campsite. Good three foot diameter, I suppose. Now at the bottom, super mature tree. You can tell all the branches start to get kind of rough looking. Flat on top. It's got a lightning scar. Next to it, right over here, is another one that has, is dead now. But that was a very impressive tree in its day, too. This is some more of the blowdown that's occurred back behind the campsite. Kind of amazing that there could just be a, a little pocket like this of it. People have done some clearing. Um, mostly balsam fir, a couple of spruce, but a couple of really nice you know, 12 inch or so white pines in there. Just weird, it's a little pocket. Kind of like a giant took a footstep here. This is the back side of my campsite. Here on Thomas. The sun's just setting. I got busy doing dishes and stuff and kind of missed it for the most part. But what a beautiful evening this is. Uh, I wanted to show off this big white pine that I found here in my campsite on Thomas. This uh, big tree blew over sometime this summer. Uh, it broke off about 10 feet up. Uh, the log is actually laying in the lake. The, the tree was hollow, was rotten, but it looks like there's a little bit of a blowdown in this area, judging by some of the trees in the back of the campsite. I guess this is uh, my first night here on Thomas. I haven't decided if I'm going to stay here one more night or possibly move on tomorrow to Alice or go back to Insula. Um, we might get some rain to, uh, tonight sometime and maybe into tomorrow morning, but everything's battened down. I got, uh, I'm fed and camp is set up and that's all I need to do for the night. So good night.